The high school boys hockey semifinals will also get underway tomorrow. One team hoping to make some history is Little Falls. The Flyers have been in the Class A semifinals two times in program history, most recently in 2009, but have never played in a state championship game. Little Falls got to the semis with a late night 2-1 win over Delano on Tuesday. The Flyer defense and the goaltending play of Dane Kucher put Little Falls over the top. Excitement was already at an all-time high going into Tuesday's game, but with the win, you could say the Flyers are on cloud nine. It hasn't really hit me, but it has at the same time. It's kind of hard to explain. I mean, I was just kind of enjoying the moment, and then next thing you know, we make it to the next round and get another chance to fight. It's one of the best games our defensive court played, and you know, it was really exciting just because it was on the big stage, and I guess we got to show you know, what, what it means to be a, a defenseman for the Flyers. The Flyers are now preparing for a Dodge County team that put up seven goals on Hermantown in the quarterfinals. For the Wildcats, everything starts and ends with junior forward Brody Lamb. In order for Little Falls to get to their first ever state title game, they'll have to slow down number seven. He's a tremendous uh, player, uh, a Minnesota Gopher recruit. He's only a junior. Uh, he had six goals uh, against Hermantown, uh, the, you know, the night, the day before, or the game before we played. So obviously he is uh, the, the, you know, the main person on their team. I think we just got to take it one period at a time, and and uh, at the final buzzer, we just got to know that we put it all into it. We got to finish. We had a tough time finishing in the past, but I think we're getting better. And Brody Lamb for Dodge County is actually a gopher men's hockey commit. The Flyers will try to slow him and the Wildcats down tomorrow at 1 p.m. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.